Hello guys, probably you have seen this error at least once in your Laravel career. Property on null, which often comes from the relationship something like this in Blade. You load the relationship and that object does not exist anymore, for whatever reason. And in this video I will show you four different ways how to avoid this error on the screen. You probably know some of those ways, but do you know all of them? After watching this video, share in the comments below. The setup of this demo project is very simple. The model category, which has soft deletes, and this is important. The model post with category relationship belongs to. And then just a simple controller with one method, invocable controller with just listing all the posts with their categories and the blade. You saw that one already. And if all categories and posts exist successfully, this is the success page without any design. I didn't spend time on building any design, but what if I soft delete one of the categories? For example, here in my tinkle well, it returns true. And in the database, I refresh the page and have deleted ad for the business category. Now we will have obviously an error that there's no business category anymore. Okay, now let's go to those four ways to fix that. The first way is to use so-called PHP null safe operator, which means just adding question mark here. As a result, if this is empty, it will return empty and will not even bother calling the name. So if we refresh now, no error and the category is just empty. So this is probably the easiest fix. It appeared in PHP 8, but if for some weird reason you are on the older version, you may want to use Laravel helper called optional. So Laravel has something like this. So optional object, and that will also default to empty and will not throw any errors. So that was way number two. I used to use optional personally in the past, but since PHP 8, I prefer native null safe operator of PHP. Now, way number three, what if you want to have default value here instead of just empty string? And again, we can do that in PHP. So we return that string, but if it doesn't exist, two question marks and have something here. It may be empty string, we refresh and that doesn't change, but we can then do no category or whatever you want to put in here. So that is not just for avoiding the error, but also adding a logic of what should be the default here. So that was way number three. And then way number four is an eloquent model. So while defining post category in the model here, you may specify a thing called with default. So if that relationship doesn't exist for whatever reason, then you may add with default, and then you don't need to change anything here in the blade. The blade stays like in the initial state before this video, we refresh and there's no error here anymore. And even that is not all as a way for, for B, let's call it with default, also accepts array as an optional parameter where you can define the default values of certain fields. For example, category name could be no category here in the model level. And then again, we don't change anything in the blade. We refresh the page and we see no category here. So yeah, these are four ways how to avoid that typical Laravel error with relationships. Did you know them all? Which one do you prefer? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want more eloquent tips like this one, we pretty recently updated the course called Laravel 11 Eloquent Expert Level with a lot of small or bigger pieces of advice about models, relationships, and stuff like that. So I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.